Things are not looking good for Brie Larson's The Marvels. The latest report claims that the opening weekend box office tr is now tracking for an atrocious $45 million to $50 million opening weekend. Let's get into this here. This new report comes from World of Reels' Jordan Rumi, who claims some analysts had originally believed that a $55 million to $75 million domestic debut would occur for The Marvels, but I'm being told that the latest internal numbers actually point to a $45 million to $50 million three-day opening. Yikes. One of those other analysts was Sean Robbins at Box Office Pro, who claimed in the middle of October the film would have an opening weekend between $50 million and $75 million. Robbins went on to predict the film would bring in a total of $121 million and $189 million in its entire domestic run at the box office. Following that long-range prediction from Box Office Pro, Deadline reported that box office analytics firm Quorum originally informed them that the movie would bring in around $90 million in its opening weekend. However, by the middle of October, the outlet reported that the, quote, four-week lead tracking for the film was coming in at $75 million to $80 million. That's a decline of 11% on the low end and 16% on the high end. Box Office Pro has since de downgraded its projections for the Marvels as well. As part of their long-range tracking for Wish and Napoleon, the outlet now predicts the Marvels will only bring in between $45 million and $67 million in its opening weekend. They also predict the entire domestic haul will only be between $109 million and $169 million. If the World of Reels projections turn out to be accurate, the Marvels will become the worst performing Marvel Cinematic Universe film for an opening weekend. Without adjusting for inflation, the current film with the worst performing opening weekend is 2008's The Incredible Hulk at an opening weekend of $55.4 million and went on to gross $134.8 million at the domestic box office. It had a global gross of $265.5 million. If you do indeed adjust for inflation, the worst performing film is 2015's Ant-Man. The film grossed $57.2 million in its opening weekend and went on to gross $180.2 million domestically and had $518.8 million globally. Adjusting for inflation, that comes to an opening weekend of $74.3 million, a domestic haul of $234 million, and a global gross of $673.8 million. That's in 2023 uh, dollars. Not only will these box office projections make the Marvels the worst performing Marvel Cinematic Universe film at the box office ever, but a report from Carolyn Reed at Forbes noted the film's production budget currently stands at $274 million. She wrote the blockbuster budget is disclosed in company filings released yesterday by the Disney subsidiary, which made the movie. Uh, they show that over the two-year period from the incorporation of the company to September 30, 2022, it spent $274.8 million, or £221.8 million, pounds, and banked a $55 million, or £44.4 million pound subsidy from the government of the United Kingdom where the movie was made. This brought its net spending down to $219.8 million. It's likely this is not even the final production budget, as the production company incorporated in the United Kingdom will likely continue to report its financial dealings for a number of years to come, as we've seen with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Avengers Endgame, and other Disney productions filmed in the United Kingdom. The report also does not include post-production costs either. Nevertheless, based on this production, Reed production budget, Reed claims the Marvels will need to gross at least $439.6 million just to break even. However, this is an extremely conservative prediction using a two-times factor based on the net budget. Usually, conservative predictions use a 2.5-times factor, which would mean the film needs to hit $549.5 million if you use the net budget that factors in the tax subsidy. Some analysts even use a three-times factor. If you go with that standard, the film would need to gross around $659.4 million to break even. If these predictions are true, it definitely looks like the Marvels will be a complete and utter stinker at the box office. So I leave it to you. What do you make of this recent report about the Marvels poor, atrocious box office uh, opening weekend haul? Subscribe for more.